Well, welcome back. Don't do it. That's the word for most Americans. We've got a new Harvard Caps Harris poll, which finds a stunning 71 percent of Americans do not believe President Biden should run for reelection. 45 percent saying he is a bad president. Another 30 percent saying he's just too old. Joining me right now is former senior advisor to the Clintons, the Stagwell chairman and CEO of the Harris poll, Chairman Mark Penn. Mark, great to see you. Thanks very much. Give Thank us you. your takeaway on your latest findings, Mark. What strikes you most? Well, the president's ratings are at a low point. Uh, inflation is raging. Uh, um, over 60 percent think their lives are getting worse. Uh, and so consequently, it's no surprise that they don't think that Joe Biden should run for another term given this performance. They, they cite his age. They cite the, the problem he has doing a good job. And uh, and I think these are stunning numbers. Even even more stunning to me is only 30 percent of Democratic voters say they would vote for him in a Democratic primary. So I've been doubtful for a long time that he actually will run for a second term. Obviously, no president should say that before any midterms. You've got to stay in the race. But but I think it's pretty unlikely. Well, I mean, I think part of it is that people feel that they're not being told the truth. I mean, there's this tin ear, isn't there? We know that inflation's at 40-year highs, spending is out of control, and yet instead of pivoting and saying, okay, we're going to hold back on the Build Back Better agenda, they're still trying to push it through, still trying to push through uh, $1.5 trillion of new taxes, even as costs are rising everywhere for American families. Don't you think people would say, okay, uh, he may uh, want to run, but uh, if if and, and will support that if they felt that they were being told the truth. Instead, it's everybody else's fault. Well, most importantly, there's been no pivot, no pivot on particularly, you know, gas prices. Uh, going after gasoline stations was another ineffective element of the communications compared to saying, you know what, we've got to slow down the transition out of fossil fuels. That's obvious. We've got to complete the Keystone pipeline. We have to take a more rational, balanced approach. Look, if the president just sticks behind the same policies, gives out communication talking points that aren't believable, then you see the result. He continues to sink in his ratings. And there's no been, been absolutely no pivot or, or change before the midterms. We're going to have to see what happens after. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm glad you mentioned oil because we're going to be talking about this coming up in the show. The fact that now we understand that after all that talk about his big solution to get gasoline prices down, opening up the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, actually five million barrels of that Strategic Reserve was sent to Europe and Asia, including China. So I don't know if his Chinese overlord said, hey, we want the oil, send it here, or what, how this happened, but it certainly seems like there's real ineptitude underway here. But what's the bench? I mean, this is what Dagan and I were just talking about. Who's on the bench? We've got a new Yahoo News uh, YouGov poll, which is finding California Governor Gavin Newsom could actually do better than Vice President Kamala Harris in a potential 2024 matchup against President Trump. Mark, what do you say about this? This comes as recent news uh, of Newsom's ad campaign in Florida. He was, he, he was attacking Governor Ron DeSantis, and it's adding speculation that he wants to make this run for president. Could Newsom be the Democrats' frontrunner for the 2024 election? Well, I think the frontrunner is going to be Vice President Harris. And you never know what will happen here. You know, will, uh, like in New York, there be a, an early transition even to Harris, who would have the reins of the presidency to, to run with. You know, predicting presidential politics this far out is, is really a hazardous uh, profession. But yes, Newsom's clearly making a play. I thought the, I thought the uh, ads in, in uh, Florida were a good political stunt. He got publicity. We're talking about it here. Uh, he got himself on the map. He survived a, a recall. Uh, I think the governors are coming out because they don't see much in terms of the senators, and they probably think, you know what, the Democrats don't want someone else from the Senate, although, you know, Amy Klomachar is certainly someone who's been positioned for a while as a potential presidential candidate. But, yeah, it's going to be I, I, an open field, perhaps, but I do think that the edge is going to go to the vice president. It always has in the Democratic Party. Okay.
Yeah, I know, but Mark, her her ratings are almost as bad or worse, actually, than Joe Biden's. Uh, the confidence in the presidency is sinking under Joe Biden. 23% of U.S. adults feel confident in the presidential institution. According to a new Gallup poll, that's a 15% decline compared to last year, Mark. And what do you say about Kamala Harris's ratings here? Look, uh, Harris's ratings aren't as good as they need to be uh, either. Look, I worked with President Clinton after the midterms. That presidency was, you know, about 30, 33 percent approval. It, it was a wreck. But President Clinton made a determined effort to move to the center, to change the policies, to work with the Republicans, to put through bipartisan deals. I just have seen none of that through this administration. And, you know, look, Joe Biden was not someone ever anyone thought was going to win the Democratic primary, and he did. Harris will be formidable. Yeah. Maybe, as gonna, I said, we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go live to.